I'm Andrew. And my name is Thomas. And today uh, we're off to Manchester. Woohoo! And I've never been there before. No, we haven't been to Manchester before, but... Um, but it was a really cool city, because they had trams. The trams, yeah. And uh, they're, they're awesome. over the summer holidays we planned, we had a good carer, um, and yeah. with us, Nicholas. Uh, but he was a little bit dopey. Yeah, but we, he was a little dopey, but he was a lovely guy. And uh, we planned a different overnight trip, probably for, each, for each week in the holidays. And on one of the weeks we would decide to go to Manchester. I have an old school friend that lives in Manchester who has a son, uh, Noah, who's about your age. And I hit my head. You banged your head in, in the museum sad times. Um, right. Yeah, he went into the wall. But um, so we found Manchester. It was only two hours train drive from London, so that was okay. Thomas is really, really well behaved. Whenever we go on a day out, he's just amazing. Most of the time, he'll sit on the chair. So I don't get lost. Seat that goes around you. Yeah. Or Thomas is sat on my lap, and we're navigating around a city. And I feel my watch vibrate, and he just peels it back and taps the screen just to tell me what the direction is. Yeah. Um, so okay. it's really good. So um, I hope you liked the video and uh, we'll see you in the middle. What do you reckon Tom? Parking space? Yeah, I think so. Spaces. Okay.
Messi. So that was how we got to Manchester. And, uh, it was really easy. It was pretty easy, and we were really, really impressed with the city. Um, when we went, uh, there'd just been some really big floods in the UK. So really? a couple of the museums were closed, weren't they? Or um, quite a lot of the museum was closed. So we definitely so, so needed to go back. Just, they, were, they were like sweeping out the water. One, the museum where they had the uh, dinosaurs. Uh, the, the Red Arrow, which was, uh, I don't know what that museum was called, but... Um, it, the, the, museum, the Museum of Manchester? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but we went down to Media City, where the BBC films a lot. Um, really? We found there was an Imperial War Museum down there. And you and me went in and we bought like a little painting. Little, so good. You were really, really, really good. Uh, and getting on the trams was, was fine. Uh, there was and little access. Just, they were really fine. The only thing we did find a little bit difficult is a little it's bit trying to navigate. Work out which tram to get. And if you don't know, and there wasn't really anybody around, it was all automated, it was a little bit tricky. Like, well, know. we want to go there, but which tram do we get? And also, do we, do we get do we get a 950 thing? Mm -hmm. thing? Moving around the city, do you remember? So, we went with Nicholas. Now, Nicholas was a lovely guy, um, but Nicholas likes to eat, doesn't he? And he would eat and eat and eat. He would and eat, eat like five sandwiches. He would eat uh, like five Four or five sandwiches. A really time. skinny guy. But when you had a breakfast in somewhere like we said in a Holiday Inn, and uh, we, and I like the Holiday Inns because they give you a free interconnecting carers room, and, which is so handy. And when he goes for like helpings, we just go and do our own. So, so while he was in breakfast, and we realised we're only. Yep. This is an overnight trip where we were on a clock and, and then during breakfast it's a buffet and Nicholas would eat four, five, six plates and I would have, I'd feel a bit sick watching him eat. And so we would just go out and get So we'd have one little quick bite to eat and then we'd say, right, and because it's much quicker if it's me and you, you sat here zooming around, just skidding around the streets of Manchester. Um, and we just were, have a look what's wrong. I mean, we gave a tram a race, but my chair goes 6.5 miles. 6.5 miles an hour, the trams go a little bit faster. Oh, like 10 miles. But when you're going around the streets, if you're not used to it, you just see the, the, the tram tracks, you're like, well, there might be a tram coming. I mean, I'm sure they would toot their horn. Um, Baby! But no, we were really impressed with Manchester, and uh, hopefully, you enjoyed the second half, and uh, we'll see, see you at the end. end.
Where are we? Where are we? Media City. You do like recognize it because we're in Media City in Manchester. So don't. Guys, we need to find some of these words that make clues. Well, that, that, was our, that was Manchester. That was our adventure to Manchester, and uh, we were so impressed, we can't wait to go back. Um, obviously, the museums you went to that were closed, or bits of them were closed, we need to go back to finish them off. Oh, um, we need to go back to the Red Arrow again. Yeah, but we liked the Holiday Inn, it was really close. Once we knew how to get out of the train station, it was, uh, yeah, 
it was it was quite good. And on the way up, do you remember? On the way up, we took a virtual train on the way up, and um, the guard I wouldn't say took pity on us. Sometimes people uh, guards on the on the platform. Uh, when you're getting on an intercity train, they don't take pity, but they want to do something nice. They see me, you, the chair, the equipment, and they put us in first class, which is basically a free upgrade. Which is really nice. Because wheelchair seats either go, there's one in first class and then there's one somewhere else. Um, like one up and down the train. And sometimes you meet a nice guard and you might say to him, I'll be a bit cheeky, or you, you, know, you crack a bit of a smile with him, uh, and then he puts you on. And on that particular day, the people at Euston train station that are meant to help you out into the train, even though we booked the accessibility, they weren't there. So um, there was a bit of a mad panic rush around to try and get us on the train. Um, and the guard got us on, put us in first class, complimentary Very nice guy. food and drinks. Very and, nice uh, guy. We were really, really impressed, weren't we? You don't always get that way. And on the way back, I don't know if you remember, but we, we came into Euston. Um, and then we had a bit of a rush to get to St Pancras for our train home. Because we had to cross a massive busy road yeah. with police. It was busy, busy. So, um, oh, on top. Uh, I hope you enjoyed seeing about how we got to Manchester and back. It was an overnight stay that was really easy. And, I, uh, I ride a lot in. Rode. You rode a lot. In Manchester. And uh, we look forward to seeing you on the next adventure. Cool.